be that the events unfolding in the Middle East today are somehow mirrored in the Bible by the prophets of Israel? Now you don't need to be an academic historian to see the repetitive cycles throughout Jewish history. The names and faces may change, but the underlying challenges we face remain the same as they have been since biblical times. Ma'aseh avot siman labanim. Our sages tell us that the lives of our fathers are a sign for their children. The lives of our ancestors written in scripture are the blueprint for our own. At the time of the destruction of the temple 2,500 years ago, Israel was faced with two empires that sought their destruction. The first were the Babylonians. Their leader Nebuchadnezzar ravaged Jerusalem and destroyed the temple, murdering over 100,000 Jews and exiling the survivors to Babylonia. The first time Israel was faced with nuclear destruction was in 1981 with Iraq. Iraq is modern day Babylon. Same place, same cities, same people. Amazingly, the leader of Iraq at that time, Saddam Hussein, pronounced himself as the reincarnation of Nebuchadnezzar, conqueror of the Jews. As Saddam was building a nuclear bomb, he called the reactor Tammuz. The name of the month, the walls of Jerusalem were breached during Nebuchadnezzar's siege of Jerusalem before the destruction. Hussein ordered that the ancient city of Ur in Babylon be restored. Like Nebuchadnezzar two millennia earlier, each new brick was inscribed, this time with Saddam's name. Saddam then embarked on a campaign of terror and conquest, first in Iran, then Kuwait. His ultimate dream was to recapture Jerusalem. Menachem Begin, Israel's prime minister at that time, was faced with destruction and subjugation by modern day Babylon. He had no choice but to defend Israel from possible annihilation and destroy the Iraqi nuclear reactor. The book of Daniel prophesizes about the downfall of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. He was driven from mankind. He ate grass like an ox. His body was washed by the dew of heaven until his hair grew like eagle's feathers and his nails were like bird's claws. Could these events prophesied about 2,500 years ago be a sign of what's to come for our generation? With Babylon behind us in 2012, Israel now faces a new empire that seeks its destruction, Iran. Iran is modern day Persia, whose leader Haman issued a decree sealed by the king to annihilate every Jew in the vast Persian empire on one day, encompassing the entire Middle East and beyond. The stories of our ancestors will serve as signs for their descendants. The parallels between Haman and the president of Persia, Ahmadinejad of Iran, are undeniable. So much so that Prime Minister Netanyahu gave a gift to President Obama in March 2012, the Scroll of Esther. A modern day Persian president that calls for the annihilation of all Jews, both young and old, children and women in one day. How do you annihilate everyone in one day in 2012? <laughs> the prophets of Israel gave us a blueprint, a structure. After victory over Babylon and Persia, a window of opportunity was opened to the world. God would usher in an era of peace and prosperity. There was potential for the world to enter into the messianic era. That prophecy was given for every generation until the coming of Mashiach. It was given for our generation. Again, we faced Babylon. And now we face Persia. As Haman fell with God's help, so will Iran. It is finally time to heed the call of the prophets of Israel. Be strong and courageous. Return to Israel. Stand united with Israel. The time has come for unbridled multinational unity and faith. Faith in our cause, faith in our right to be free, faith that one day there will be peace, and most importantly, faith in God. As Hashem was with our fathers in those days, He will be with us in our time.
Shalom, I'm Ari Abramowitz speaking to you from the old city of Jerusalem. Jeremy and I, along with our entire team at thelandofisrael.com, have been pouring our hearts and souls into sharing the truth and beauty of Israel with the entire world. Now more than ever, as lies, distortions, and propaganda are plaguing our small Jewish state, it's critical that a voice of truth illuminates the darkness. Please partner with us in sharing the truth and beauty of Israel with the world. Yeah.